There's a cool resource online called the Getty Open Content Program and in this video I'm going to walk through how you can find some really neat free images to use. Now the first thing that comes up is when people see there's free images online they'll often ask do I really have the rights to use these images? And Getty is like a big organization that has a lot of different images and some of the images, not all, but some of the images are in the public domain. So when you go to the main website, for example, you'll see there's some museum stuff on here, what we do, and you can visit art and art archives. Now on the main page here, and I'll put this link in the video description below, there's an open content program. And what that means is that you can freely use these images. Now it says on the website for study, teaching, and enjoyment, what about for commercial license? Now when I scroll on down here to rights information and I expand it, they're under the CCO license, which means it's public domain. You can even click on this CCO that's underlined and you can see here it says CC0 1.0 and it's public domain. And what that means is that there's no rights restrictions. You can take the images that are part of the open content program and you can use them for whatever purpose you would like, commercial, non-commercial, no one really cares. So one of the things that's challenging on these websites is that the search function can sometimes be hidden or there's just too many options on here. So what I'm gonna do is put a link in the video description so I'll put a link to this in the video description below. This is the Getty Search Gateway. And what you can do is just search here at the top and you can select only records with images and you can also select open content images as well. So I'm gonna search here, for example, medieval. And we can see there's over 73,000 records that are below. And what I'm also gonna check is on the left-hand side, there's some filter options. I'm gonna scroll right down to the bottom and I'm gonna make sure this open content images is selected because that's gonna show me stuff that is copyright free, basically public domain that I can then use. So here's my medieval records. I've got 73,000 records. And you can also skinny your results down here on the left hand side. So for example, if I wanted to only look at religious icons, for example, now this gives me 61. And I can see now I've got only religious medieval artwork up for grabs instead of everything. You can always clear your filters here right at the top as well to simply select clear all and that will bring you back to your original search. You can also click here to start over right next to the search results. And now I'm back to the beginning. There's also a highlights section right here, open content images, and check that out. There's over 165,000 records that have been returned. And you can filter by different types or by a search term. I highly recommend selecting only records with images. There's no point in searching for something if no image is gonna come back up. Here I've searched for Rome, for example, and let's say as much as I like photographs, I don't wanna see the Roman photographs, I'd like to see artwork instead. So here, instead of all types, I'm going to go to show more, and I'm only gonna to go to paintings. Now I'll click done, and that will show me only Roman paintings, and it excludes all of the photographs. Here's a great picture here, modern Rome, you can see that's a great looking oil painting there. If you select the enlarge button, it just shows you an enlarged picture. But if you select the primary title, that will open up an entirely different web page where you can read all about the artwork. You can read the description. You can even download the image right here. And I wanna point out, it says public domain right here. So you can always double check. Simply clicking the download image button, you can see there's large resolutions, even super high resolution image. I'm gonna select that one. And here in Microsoft Explorer, I can see it's a massive image, 9,000 pixels by 6,700 pixels and almost 400 dots per inch. That's a pretty big image considering it's free. I think that looks absolutely spectacular. What a wonderful addition. If you're working in print on demand or digital downloads, you've got major access now to some high quality images completely for free. I highly recommend checking out Getty Open Content. It's a really cool tool where you can find some high quality photographs and artwork that you can use in any of your crafting projects. Here's another video where you can have some fun looking at public domain images. Thanks a lot for watching.